Hey guys, how is it going? We are doing something a little different today. We are comparing inputs for Warzone. So today we are playing with a Xbox One controller, a mouse and keyboard, and another setup that you probably haven't seen in years. So let's get it right into this. The way that we are doing this is with the Modern Warfare shooting range. So we're gonna start with got mouse and keyboard, and that's what I'm most comfortable with. And we'll just run this really quickly, just to kind of get a lay of the map again. Try again. Work. I was was close to not making it. All right, so that's where we ended up on the best of for the mouse and keyboard. So let's jump on to a controller. Try again. There's a slight the pull to aim assist, but it's not strong by any means. I definitely feel as though I can't be as accurate as I can be with muscle keyboard. That's not surprising. Rough. Not that was rough. Soldier. But I mean, I definitely see if you get decent with it. I mean, I'm, what, 10 seconds off my other time, right? Though that's that's pretty crazy. So let's uh let's use the other mouse that, that I was kind of talking about. So check this thing out. Let's let's back out of here first. The input we're using for this third weird one is actually gonna be the old school top style rat mouse type of thing. So the way this works is with the mouse ball on the top, moves the cursor around. So let's jump into game. Sensitivity is set to about 25. Maybe too much sensitivity, I can feel my jitter of my hand impacting the aim. I'll still say I did better than I did with controller. <laughs> well, guys, um... Overall, I guess what I've got to say is use the input that works best for you. Yes, controller has some aim assist that obviously mouse and keyboard doesn't, but I mean, I three-starred it with with this mouse over here, so I, I don't know, man. Well, I guess that's what we learned today. Use what you like, like what you use, and have fun. It's a game, guys. Enjoy yourselves. See you around.